Welcome to Tack Fit Rope. Welcome back, Commandos. I've trained with special units and secret forces around the world. And regardless of the country of origin, each of the trainers will tell you that they have the right way to do things. Well, folks, I'm here to tell you. You can argue to your blue in the face, but there are three ways to do things. There certainly is a wrong way. There are very many right ways. And then there's the way we're going to do it. I've spent years in the university system discussing the right way to do anything. And even when I was a professor of physical education for Penn State University, there were people arguing about the right way to do things. I'm not concerned about the right way. I'm concerned about our way. There are many right ways to do things. And they can be completely contradictory and yet equally valid. There's no reason in arguing what the right way to do things is. There is a very valid reason for finding out the most effective way and the most efficient way to achieve our goals. There are no absolutes. It's relative to the mission, the training equipment you have at your disposal, your point of origin, and your ultimate mission goal. Rope, rapid onset pull-up equipment. The goal is to take something that costs less than the price of a Starbucks latte and be able to train anywhere at any time. Suspension training gives us the ability to use gravity in new dimensions. When you apply rope to your training potential, amazing things are gonna happen. If you do things the way we're going to do them, not the right way, not the wrong way, but the way we're going to do them, then this will happen. One, your nervous system must be trained in all its degrees of freedom. Two, you must allow the training stimulus to adapt your nervous system so that you become more sophisticated, so that you observe the principle of being a neurological predator. Three. You must change the training stimulus as soon as you have mastered it because mastery is not an end process. Four, you must train anywhere, at any time, and in every moment. Always be conditioning. You're looking for the most efficient way, the most positive way to challenge yourself, to not be complacent, to not find comfort in your strengths, but to find solace in repairing and restoring your weaknesses, or at least mitigating them until they themselves become strengths. I look forward to your feedback, and most importantly, I look forward to you getting home safe and returning to your families.